And PSO says this is its biggest response to a power outage since the ice storm of 2007. News on 6 is Amy Slanchik is near 21st in Yale, an area hit especially hard. Amy. Craig and Lori, PSO expects all of its Tulsa customers to have power restored by Saturday. As far as folks who live in places like Shoto, Vanita, and Grove who use PSO, they should expect power a little sooner by this Wednesday. Osage Drone 6 shows the response to the disaster. It's a monumental effort. As Expo Square serves as a hub for hundreds of power trucks. People without power, it's a relief to see all these new power poles ready to be put to use. We we believe that more than 700 poles were broken. Wayne Green with PSO says it's getting help from nearly 3,000 people from 20 states, all ready to work day and night to get the lights back on. This is going to be a long multi-day rebuild. Fingers crossed it'll be faster than that. Teresa Hubbard lives near 21st and Harvard. Her neighbor's tree fell on her dad's truck after he came over to use her shelter Saturday night. <laughs> this is not something that's going to be a repair. <laughs> you don't think so? It's mm -hmm. probably a total. Uh, yeah. Despite also having a tree on her house. All good. We're alive. Teresa and her roommate are getting by with a couple of coolers while they wait for the power to come back on. So we got lunch meat and cheese and a little cream cheese. This is actually what was in the refrigerator. Some grapes, ice. Across Midtown, it's a spotty, stop-and-go situation as many streetlights are out and roads are closed. At 32nd and Harvard, drivers make their way around a fallen tree and power lines as everyone zigzags through town on the hunt for storm-related essentials. We got to Sand Springs because nobody has any ice or gas. And OG&E says it still has about 29,000 customers without power. Other providers like Vertigris Valley Electric and Northeast Oklahoma Electric Co-op each have about 2,000 customers still without service. Live in Tulsa, Amy Slanchuk, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.